These students at the University of Toronto are angry because a so-called men's rights activist was speaking at their college. His words are hate speech, they said. No hate speech on campus! They stopped people like this man from getting in to see the lecture. I've never heard of a project. We, we invite you to educate I just want, Yeah, so and I just wanted to listen decide, to it, but now I can't get in. That. The boy crisis. The so-called men's rights advocate speaking inside was Warren Farrell. For the first time in U.S. history, boys will have less education than their dads. Farrell is an odd person to call anti-woman. He was actually an early feminist movement leader. Here he is with Gloria Steinem. But as he learned more, he started to disagree with parts of modern feminism. I don't agree with the part of feminism that says men are the oppressors and women are the oppressed. That part of feminism is sick. Men are running the government, they run most companies, they make more money. Our dads and our grandpas, they made sacrifices to make more money. And then the feminist movement turned all of that sacrifice on the part of men against men. And they haven't said, you were discriminated against men in your own way. You were obliged to earn more money uh, or we wouldn't even be thinking about marrying you. We wouldn't be thinking about having children with you. In his book, The Boy Crisis, Farrell notes that both sexes struggle. Today, boys are almost a third less likely to get college degrees than girls, twice as likely to commit suicide. Why is no one talking about this? Because we have believed for the last 50 years that men had all the privilege and men had all the power. Men and boys started falling behind when government began subsidizing single mothers. They tear the family apart by giving the money to mothers when fathers are absent and not giving money to mothers when fathers are present. That policy, part of the welfare system created in the 60s, helped lead to more households without fathers. Farrell says that hurts boys most. Why are boys more affected than girls? Boys tend to not have as many skills at developing friendships and developing emotional connections. And so when their family connection breaks apart, it affects them more profoundly than it does their sisters. This 1989 CBS interview captured the changing attitudes after welfare programs started. I think I can make it as a single parent. But don't you think you might need help in raising that baby from a man? Not really. It doesn't make any difference whether she needs a man. It makes a difference that her children need a father. What happens when the kids don't have fathers? Children do worse in 70 different areas. They're far more likely to be disobedient, delinquent, drop out of school. Fathers are critical, says Farrell, because men tend to parent differently. For example, men roughhouse more with kids. Why is that important? Rough housing creates so many skill sets. The father's creating a bond with the child. So the children don't mind the discipline because the discipline is the price they pay for more fun with dad. People think that mothers tend to be better parents because on average, they're more attentive to children's needs. Mothers are more empathetic as a rule to the children than dads, but an empathetic parent does not create an empathetic child. An empathetic parent is someone who's always thinking of the children's needs, which teach the children to always have his or her needs thought of. The empathy is created by the father or the mother requiring the child to think about the father's needs, the mother's needs, their brother's needs. In fact, he says helping children too much is harmful. Dr. Phil covered that in this video clip. Bobby, mom is rewriting your essay. Why? What is wrong with my essay? Why? Listen, this is the first paragraph. You wrote, have no time to eat. You need to start with... Mom, I'm in middle school. I'm not in high school yet. You want me to try. Let me try. Don't do it for me, Mom. I, mean, I really want to do it myself. Moms are filled with love, and they want to make sure their children do well. So they often do for the children. Dads are filled with love, but the way that dads love is to feel that I need to love the children by having the children learn how to do for themselves. Having both an involved mother and father leads to the best outcome for kids. A government summary of studies notes, children who live with their fathers are more likely to have good physical and emotional health, to achieve academically, to avoid drugs, violence, and delinquent behavior. Jump. We need men to be involved in the fathering role to a much greater degree than they are and have been. Even when we control 
for the amount of money a father and mother earn. Children with dads still do much better. Ready? Jump! Jump! Woo! <laughs> Jump! Thank <laughs> you.